Pulitzer Prize winner Mark Feeney visited the University of Maine on Thursday as part of the Alan Miller Fund Visiting Journalist Program. Feeney penned the book, Nixon at the Movies. And we were talking on the phone the day after Nixon died. And I said to him, you should write something about Nixon in the movies. And he said, no, you should. Mobile Maine News asked audience members, who do you think has best portrayed Nixon on the big screen? I think Anthony Hopkins is uh, one of the best actors of, of his time, and uh, yeah, my recollection of that film is that he did a very good job capturing, capturing not so much the way Nixon moved and sounded as, as just sort of the, the, the torment, the, the things that were going on with Nixon internally toward the end of his, uh, his presidency. But I would say the Frost Nixon, Frank Langella, unbelievable. But on the other hand, the, um, which was it? Uh, Anthony Hopkins was great, but he wasn't Nixon. His, his voice was just a little off, but so I'd have to give it to Frank Langella. All right, because I'm going to go to look things right over here. All right, okay. Robert Wisden. Yes, in Watchmen, which I have not seen, but I'd say that's the look thing. Frost Nixon was a great movie, but I don't think the look thing's there at all. And um, the others I haven't seen. I, I would have to say Frost Nixon because it's an excellent movie and he was just great in it. You know, I think he got robbed for an Oscar personally. He's an amazing actor and he was excellent in that movie. Uh, I think that Philip Baker Hall gave the most impressive performance, but he sure doesn't remind me of Richard Nixon. Uh, I would vote for Dan Hedaya. Uh, this is a guy who saw himself one way and everybody else saw another way. And in that vast gulf between those two views uh, comes both comedy and tragedy. And we see the tragedy all the time, but we rarely see the comedy, and Dan Hedaya gets that across.